hi guys welcome back to new xt tutorial today we are going to learn how to create this 360 degree animation in adobe xt you can find this link in the description below so let's open this file in photoshop we need to slice it you can find the slice tool under your crop tool just hold it and select the slice tool create a one big slice of your whole image right click and click on divide slice and for my image i select the horizontal and divide image into 37 slices as i have 37 images for this whole 360 degree view go to file and export it as web for legacy select your slice tool and select all of the images if you click on one the rest will be hidden so make sure you select all at once and click on save as you see we have 37 images we need let's create a rectangle the design i have already made remove the border and select the width around 506 and hide also 506 pixels create a line under it it will be overloading loader animation two pixel is good enough change the color make it a little softer and create another rectangle give it a full radius of around 15 to make it circular and change color i took all these colors from the microsoft logo you can pick that to change the name so it's easy for us to move along if you select this line you will see its width we need to select all of these as you can see it's 37 items we need to add so what we are going to do is we're going to select this loading bar this loading bar and we can see its width is 602 so we divide it into 37 and copy this number and we will increment this number to overloading animation and we will multiply it on every image we add make it a default component it will be easy that way so we will move along different components in our artboard to make this animation change the name create another state call it new state do not create a hover straight call it in a slide 2 and we are going to add a new image And now we are going to give this width multiply by 2 as it's the second image I'm going to create a new state we need to create all states for all the images here i am showing you only three and the rest will be available in the source file and the link will be in the description below so go check it and if you are not following me on instagram do check follow me on instagram and you will find very helpful material as i am teaching design systems there especially material design and ios human interface design now we are going to prototype it and we change our slide so on our different artboard so it represent different images we need just use the auto animation and change the duration to 0 0.2 and make the easing none otherwise it will give a sudden fast or slow movement depending on your easing method just use the tap 
trigger for your first image and the rest will use time with the delay zero let's play it as you can see it's working perfectly and our loader is also going with the, our images if we check this we I have already created 37 image for you so you can find this in the description below let's play this image as you can see it's working perfectly just make sure when you prototype your last artboard will go to second artboard so it will keep on looping otherwise you will need to tap on your first artboard every time hope you guys like this video if you like give a big thumbs up and comment what you want to learn next in adobe xd and we will make sure will come with very nice idea